fish on. Oh, it's a good one too. What's up everybody, Fish Hawk here. Today we're gonna do some trout fishing. I just got off work and it's like 90 degrees. It's the hottest it's been all year, so I figured it was perfect weather to do some trout fishing. I'm also gonna to talk to you guys about fishing a trout spinner, whether I fish it upstream, downstream, where I cast it, how I cast it, that sort of thing. Just give you all some tips and techniques that I use to catch fish and hopefully we can catch some fish. Stay tuned. I'm gonna be using a gold spinner. This is actually a spinner that one of my subscribers made and I'm gonna put all the information to this spinner. If you wanna buy some, I'm gonna put the information in my description, but it looks like a Panther Martin, but it's not. It's actually a spinner that my subscriber made and sent to me and uh, it's all gold. It's got a gold blade and a gold body. It's one eighth of an ounce. Very good looking spinner, but that's what I'm gonna be using today. So we'll see if it catches some fish. When I'm fishing water like this, the current is obviously moving this way. Um, I like to fish downstream. I like to walk downstream with the current and the reason for that is is when the water is flowing pretty fast and you throw upstream like this, you have to reel super fast to keep that spinner off the bottom and also to keep the blade spinning. Yes, I know trout do face upstream and so you're actually coming up behind them. If you fish upstream, you're coming up behind the fish, you're throwing in front of them, you're bringing it down right in front of their face and you do get some reaction strikes. But like I said, the problem with fishing upstream, if the current's moving pretty quickly, is that you it's hard to keep the spinner off the bottom and it's also hard to keep the spinner uh, blade moving. So if I fish downstream, cast across stream, I can keep my rod tip at whatever level I want to keep that spinner in the water column and I don't always have to reel the spinner. The reason for that is the current's moving this way. My spinner is being held by the line like this, and it's just setting. Wherever I hold it is where my spinner is setting, and the water, the current is holding that spinner there, and it's making the blade spin, and I'm not even doing anything. All I'm doing is kind of moving my rod tip to keep it where I want it, where I want it. so I'll reel it a little bit. So right when it gets in the middle where that current's moving quick, I don't even have to hold, I don't even have to reel. And the spinner's just moving through the water right now. I'm using my rod tip. You can see the blade is spinning because my rod tip is vibrating. And obviously when you get it out of the current, you have to reel it. But when you get it in that sweet spot where the current's moving good, you don't even have to reel it. All you have to do is guide it with your rod tip. Guide it with your rod to where you want it to go. I'm not saying that this is the right way or the wrong way. I'm just saying this is what I use. This is how I do it. And I've caught... I feel like I've caught a, a decent amount of fish doing it this way. Fish on. Fish on. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's a big old fall fish. <laughs> Look at that. Even the fall fish likes the gold spinner. Let's get a proper release on you, lad. Make sure my hand's wet. Grab the fish. Put him in the water. And he's gone. Just like that. All right, you see what I did there? Cast downstream. Let the current hold my spinner. And kind of... Uh, the current of the creek kept my blade spinning. All I was doing was pretty much guiding it across the creek, keeping it at whatever depth I want and just guiding it. Not reeling a whole lot. If I feel that the spinner is kind of sinking down in the water column a little bit, I will, I will reel to keep it up off the bottom because obviously I don't want to get uh, stuck on the bottom in rocks or limbs or anything like that. So Whenever the current isn't flowing fast enough to keep your spinner off the bottom and keep the blade moving, I will reel. But I want that spinner to move slowly across the creek and I want to keep it right in the middle of the water column typically. If it's real deep, I'll put my rod tip lower to get the spinner to go lower and deeper in the water column. So I hope you guys understand kind of what I'm talking about when I'm talking about fishing a spinner and how I fish it downstream or upstream depending on the flow of the water. Anytime you're trout fishing and you see a big old pile of uh, logs like this right here with a nice little current just running right into it, those fish like to hide in there and just wait for food and stuff to come strolling by. Fish on. 
Oh, it's a good one too. a beast. That is a massive rainbow. I'm sure you all love the sound of the train while I was trying to land that fish. Probably nice and loud. Oh, what'd I get? Oh, what'd I get? Oh man, look at that. A little small action. Let's put him in the net so we can look at him. See, even smallmouth bite this thing. That's gotta be the cutest little smallmouth you ever saw. There he goes. When you're fishing cover like this, logs, uh, fallovers, trees, and stuff like that in the water, you wanna get that bait as close to that stuff as you can. And when you start to feel a little uncomfortable about getting your lure lost, then you need to get just a little closer and you'll be at the perfect spot. Gotta throw that thing where the fish are. You know, my dad always says, if you don't lose, it, oh my, fish on one, fish on one. I don't know what it is. What is it? What is it? Oh, it's another little smallie. Even though it's a bass, I'm still gonna wet my hand. Ow! Cute little feller. Oh, he gone. <laughs> Slipped right out of my hand. But what I was saying before I hooked into that fish is, my dad always says, if you don't lose any of your fishing lures, you can't buy new ones. You know, there's always a positive to losing your fishing gear or your fishing lures, and that is, you get to go out and buy more. I don't know anyone that is into fishing that does not love going to Cabela's, going to Bass Pro, and buying more fishing gear. All right, I think I fished that hole out. I did catch one very, very nice rainbow trout. I caught two smallmouth bass that were super tiny, but still fun, and I caught that fall fish. So I caught three species today. Got to use this awesome gold spinner that one of my subscribers sent me. I think this would be a good spot to show you guys. There is a current here, and it's moving pretty decent it doesn't look like it because it's so flat but it's moving pretty decent so in this case you got a little bit of a flow a little bit of a current but it's still not raging okay in this case I'm gonna cast upstream and show you guys because a lot of you guys you know all the books say fish upstream fish upstream so I'm gonna I'm gonna cast upstream here and now I literally have to reel and I mean, I got a reel to keep that blade spinning and to keep it off the bottom. And before you know it, that spinner is all the way back here. I mean, I know the fish are looking upstream, but they're gonna have to have one, one quick reaction to hit this spinner. But when I cast at a 45 downstream, threw it over there against the bank, bring it over into the current, once I get it right where that current grabs it, holding the spinner, holding the spinner right in the strike zone. And I mean, for a long time, that blade is spinning, the rod tips vibrating from the spinner spinning, and I'm keeping it in the strike zone a long time. Then when I work it all the way, basically back right down from me, then I can get it stuck, and then I can jerk it loose just like that. <laughs> oh. But yeah, guys. That's basically my explanation because, I, like I said, I've got a lot of comments from you guys asking, Fish Hawk, why do you fish downstream? Fish Hawk, all the books say to fish upstream. What's going on? I, I thought that, you know, today would be a good day to go over that, show you guys and kind of explain why I do it and how I do it. Right there, just hold it right in, right in place, right in the middle of the water column, right in front of that fish's face. 
where the water's a little more still and not moving so darn fast, I agree with throwing it upstream. I really do. I agree with throwing it upstream when the water's not moving fast because, you know, the fish are f facing upstream and you can bring it right down in front of them and reel at a nice normal pace and keep that spinner off the bottom and keep that blade moving. But when there's current, I just like fishing downstream and, you know, maybe that's wrong, maybe it's not. Maybe it's a personal preference. I don't think there's really a wrong way or a right way, but I think I am gonna have to give up. It's getting late. Unfortunately, I have to go to work tomorrow. How about like 100,000 of you subscribe to my YouTube channel and then I can just do this every day. Wouldn't that be amazing if I could just fish every single day like some of these guys, like John B, Flair, AP Bass, and Lunkers. All those guys, man, they're living the life. They're fishing every day, making money, making a living, and I think that's what a lot of people that fish would really love to do. So if there's 100,000 of you out there that want to subscribe to Old Fish Hawk, help him out, that would be A-OK -okay with me. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today. Got some trout fishing in, got off work. Beautiful day, 90 degrees. Caught some fish, which was awesome. I caught that nice rainbow trout. I caught two smallmouth bass, and I caught a fall fish. And I also talked to you guys about how I fish a trout spinner, whether I fish it upstream, downstream, where I cast, kind of my technique and that sort of thing. So hopefully those tips and techniques and that sort of stuff helps you guys out and helps you catch more fish. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I hope you did enjoy this video. As always, thank you so much for watching. Fish Hawk out. Thank you.